Hey guys, Jaron here with Cork Farms. Just want to give you a quick tour of my quail production facility. Uh, trying to give you a little bit of an idea of what's possible for you to do in your own garage. Um, so this this system right here, this is just an old storage rack system that the previous owners built um, and left behind here. And I started converting it into some quail cages. Um, each one of these units um, has, has just basic feeders. I just built out of uh, some sewer pipe we had left on one of our old jobs. I can get them to get their heads out of here. I'll take their heads off. I can show you. It's just a just a slit, cut in it. You roll it towards the front. They can get their heads through and, and get into it and eat out of it. Um, each one also has one of these drawers for excrement that I built into it. I kind of freak out every time I open and close this, but um, it makes it a lot easier. You can pull the whole drawer out. It's a lot easier for cleanup. Get it right to the garbage can and scrape it out or into your compost bin or whatever you're going to do with it. Um, Eventually, all nine of these spaces I'll have these built into. Um, this is all I got for now is the three done. I actually got to transfer some of the girls out of these other two into that last one. I got a little higher stocking density than I'd like right now. They also have the little egg trays in them, little rollout trays. I'm having some issues with having them roll out far enough, though. So I got to do some modifications to that and figure out something to get them to roll out better all the way out to the end and extend these these out further too so they drop down lower below the, the feeders so I don't have to take the feeder out every time I collect eggs. Um, so that's that and then these these are my brooders just some simple Rubbermaid totes. Uh, these first two over here without the, the lids on them are just my one to three day old chicks. Uh, they still need a heat lamp on them and they don't they can't jump up high enough they're too little to get out. These ones are about a week old I just actually split them into two brooders they're getting pretty crammed in the one, uh, but I just cut some tops out of the lids on these, put some hardware cloth on there, keep them from jumping out and make it easier for me to see through it. Um, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, this isn't a whole lot of space. Kind of show you the rest of the garage real quick here. It's not a whole lot of space and it's kind of cluttered. I've got a bunch of my stuff in here. Um, it'll be a lot uh, better once I get this truck running and out of here and all this other crap out and we can maybe build some more of these racks. Um, but I mean, this is a really small you know, really small setup. This isn't anything too major. I mean, you can do this a lot easier than you can do chickens. And a lot of places won't let you have chickens. We'll let you do quail. Well, not that they let you, they just don't have regulations on them. So the eggs are, are just as good as chicken eggs. I enjoy them. We eat them every morning. They're great. Um, if, if you're into uh, producing your own eggs, producing your own meat, uh, this is a really good, easy way to go. It's not expensive to get set up, um, to get started, especially if you build your own stuff. Um, so leave me any comments or questions. I'll be happy to, to answer anything you guys have for me. Thanks.